In this video, I'll be installing and configuring PDQ Deploy. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. And here you can see the objectives for this video. I will start by creating PDQ Deploy user account, and this user account will be used to run PDQ Deploy dashboard and also for deploying software to client machines. And after that, I will be creating a group policy, and in this policy, I will be adding PDQ Deploy user account to local administrators group on my client machines. And I will also configure Windows Firewall to allow file and printer sharing and also enabling ping. And in the end, I will install PDQ Deploy and try to deploy a package to my client machines. And that's basically it. Now I will go to my VMware workstation where I have my Windows Server environment. And I will start this video by creating PDQ Deploy user account. And here in the server manager, I will go to tools, then Active Directory users and computers. And then I will search for the organization unit where I'm holding my users. In my case, it's domain users that I have here. Then I will right click here, go to new and select user. Then I will give the value for the first name and it will be PDQ deploy. And I will copy this value, I will put it for the user logon name, and then I will click next. I will remove the check mark from user must change password on next logon. Then I will enter the password, I will confirm the password, and I will also select password never expires because this is my test environment. Then let's click next and finish. And that's it for creating the user account. And now I will start creating the group policy. And for that, I will go back to the server manager. Here I will go to tools and group policy management. Then I will expand group policy objects. Then I will right click group policy objects and select new. I will name the policy PDQ deploy and click OK. Then I will select the policy here and then I will right click it and select edit. And here first, let's configure our user to be a local administrator on the client machines. And for that, we need to go com to computer configuration, preferences, control panel settings, and local users and groups. Then I will right click here, go to new and local group. For the group name, I will select administrators. Then for the members, I will click on add and this button right here. And here I will only enter PDQ and click check names. Then I will click OK, OK, apply and OK. And that's it for adding the user to local administrators group. And now I will configure Windows firewall settings. And for that, I need to go to policies, administrative templates, network. Somewhere here we have network connections, Windows Defender firewall. Here I will select on the main profile and here I will click on allow ICMP exceptions. This is to enable ping for our computers. I will select enable and then allow inbound echo requests. Then I will click apply and OK. And now we need to allow inbound file and printer sharing. So I will click on this policy. I will enable it and then I will enter my network address. So that this exception only works for the computers that are from my lo local network. And it's 192.168, then and zero, and then slash and 24. And this value most likely for you will be different if you're trying to use PDQ deploy also. Let's click apply and OK. And that's it for creating the group policy. I will close this window. Then I will once more select the policy here, go to details. And for GPO status, I will select user configuration settings disabled because currently this policy only has computer settings in it. And after creating the group policy, we need to assign it to organization units that are holding the computers where we want to deploy software using PDQ deploy. In my case, the organization units will be domain computers one, domain computers two, and also this management one. So to assign the policy, I will click and hold on the policy and then drag and drop it on the organization units. And as you can see, the policy appears here, here, and also it should appear here. And that's it for creating the policy. Now let's install PDQ deploy. And for that, I will go back to my GitHub page. I will click on the link that I have here. It brings me to the PDQ dashboard and you will need to 
register to access this portal. After you register, you can log in and then you will be able to access all the download files. And here I will click on the download button that I have here. Then I will go for deploy and I will select download installer. Then I will go to my downloads folder and here we have the executable. And now I will right click the file, select copy, then I will go back to my VMware workstation. And here I have a few more clients prepared. One of them is called management. And I will use this virtual machine to install PDQ deploy. And I will use PDQ deploy from this machine to install software on my other client machines. And this is a normal Windows 11 Pro client. I will move the executable to this virtual machine. I will double click on it. I will click yes here. I will click next here. Then I will accept license terms and click next, next and install. Here I will click finish. And before clicking next here, we need to make sure that we have the settings from the group policy that we created before. And to double check that, we can check our local administrators group and see if we have PDQ deploy user in it. So to do that, I will go to my start menu. I will type in MMC, then I will click on open. Yes, then file, add remove snapping. Then I will scroll down a bit, select use local users and groups. Click add, finish, okay. Let's expand local users and groups, select groups and double click on administrators. And as you can see, currently we don't have PDQ deploy user in it. So let's update our group policy. And for that, I will go to my start menu. I will type CMD, I'll open it. And here I will type GP update and press enter. And the policy was successfully updated. Now let's go back to the MMC console, double click on administrators group. And now we see our PDQ deploy user in this group. And that means that our policy is working just fine. Now let's go back to the installer. Let's click next now. Then this button next is currently disabled. And if you want to use the free version, you need to click on this button right here. So I will click on it and the button is now enabled. Let's click next once again. And here, instead of the admin user, I will be using the PDQ deploy user that we created. So I will enter the username, PDQ deploy, and then we need to enter the password and click finish. Here I will select no, and that's it for installing PDQ deploy. Now let's try to deploy a software package to client machines. But before that, we need to make sure that our client machines also have the group policy settings. So I will go to my client 01, I will open CMD and then I will type GP update. I will go to my second client machine, open CMD and also type GP update. And I'm pretty sure that the update will be successful. So I will go back to the management PC and to my PDQ deploy software. And now let's try to deploy a software package. Let's first go to the package library. I will select one of the free packages that is available. It's PDF SAM. I will select the package. Then I will select download selected. Then I will click on the packages here and wait for the package to be downloaded. And now I will right click on the package. I will select deploy once. Then I will select choose targets. I will go to active directory and select computers. And I will deploy the software to my client 01 and client 02. So I will select both of them and then I will move them to this window right here. Then I will click OK here and select deploy now. And now we need to wait a bit. And it seems that the deployment was successful. Here we can see a status message and it seems that the deployment was successful. So if I go to one of my client machines, let's minimize this. We have PDF SAM on our desktop. I will double click on it. And it seems to be working just fine. If I go to my client 02, minimize this, double click on that. It seems to be also working just fine. And that's it for this video. In the future videos, I'll show you how to create packages for PDQ deploy. Like and subscribe if you want to see that and see you in the next one.